Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to buy, sell, and withdraw your Caspa on Uphold. So first off, you're going to want to download Uphold on the Google Play or the App Store. And I'm going to be using the website version to show you guys how Uphold works, but it's pretty similar to the app version. So once you set up your account, which you're going to have to do an ID verification and KYC, take a selfie and all that kind of stuff. Once you get your account fully set up, it's going to look something like this. And on the phone, it's going to look more like this. And the first thing you're going to want to do is fund your account, of course. So the best way to fund your account, if you're on your phone, is to click these little dots on the top left corner. It's going to bring you to this page right here. And then you're going to want to go to linked accounts. And over here for the website, it's going to be pretty similar. You want to click more and then click linked accounts. Here you can link either a debit card or your bank. And I suggest that if you want to not lose so much in fees, the best thing is going to be linking your bank. Linking a debit card, the fees are going to be around 3.99% if you are funding the account through a debit card. So a bank will be good. The only downside to the bank is any money that's in Uphold is going to take four to five days to settle. So that means you can't withdraw your CASPA for up to four to five days. I personally don't like that. And personally, I'm probably not going to be using Uphold as often because of that fact i really do like to make sure that my funds go straight to a wallet as quick as possible because uphold is a very very trustworthy exchange they've been around since 2013 and they keep one to one of all their assets but i still have to put best security practices and the best ways to always withdraw your funds to your wallet as quick as possible Personally, what I'm going to continue using is the change now solution, but I know some people have issues with this because I use Robinhood to fund this and some people have issues with Robinhood. You don't have to use Robinhood when you want to fund change now. You can use any type of cryptocurrency while, uh, exchange that allows you to get crypto and then send the crypto to change now to swap into Caspa. But personally, I like using Robinhood because Robinhood gets me absolutely no fees when I'm using a debit card to fund the account, which let, allows me to withdraw instantly. The same thing is here with Uphold. If you use your debit card, you're going to be able to withdraw instantly, but the fees on Uphold are very high when you're using a debit card. So I'm going to be funding my account and then I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to buy Caspa and then send it off to a wallet. You also don't only have to fund Uphold by using a debit card or bank account. You can actually fund it with other cryptocurrency. For example, I just funded my account with Robinhood by buying XLM on there and then sending it over to Uphold. I bought $50 worth and you could see it came over here and it's worth about $49. Now, the way you would do this if you were on your phone is to click this middle button right here. And when you click that, it's going to bring you to something that looks exactly like this. And it's going to be called anything to anything. And then you can select your source which in my case was XLM. And now I'm going to be able to put it into Caspa. If you wanted to get the actual address, since Uphold may be new for you, if you were to click XLM, it's just going to give you the wallet. So I'm going to just give you an example for that. I've never done Ethereum. So if I click Ethereum, it's going to be the network and it's going to actually give me the wallet address to send to Uphold to then finally have Ethereum in my account and then I can convert it into Caspa. But since I already have my XLM in my account, if I went over to my portfolio and I click XLM, it looks exactly like this on your phone when you were to click right here where you have money. If you click that, it's going to go into your portfolio and then you can click the different currencies that are on there. And if you were to click the three dots on the top, you can see the wallet address and then that's how you can fund your account. So you can fund your account with actual crypto, which makes it a little bit easier for you to quickly fund the account and then send your Caspa off to a wallet. So I have my XLM and I already set it over here and now I'm going to select to send this to Caspa and having it go directly into my wallet. The wallet that I'm going to be using 
for this video is going to be the tangent wallet and if you have not gotten the tangent wallet there's going to be a link down below where if you use my code caspa silver you can get 10 percent off this wallet and i'll also get a commission from this so i greatly appreciate it if you do use my code to get that 10 percent off but i have a couple videos explaining how tangent works and how it secures your funds you can look at the playlist called where to hold your caspa on my youtube channel and i have a playlist of other crypto wallets that you can take a look at and if you don't have your tangent wallet yet you can always use things like the caspian wallet or the kdx wallet but mind you these things are not cold storage devices and there's a big difference between a cold storage device and a hot wallet the main difference is the fact that a cold storage device keeps your keys to get access to your funds completely offline and not on the internet when you use kdx or caspium you usually generate the seed phrases on the internet and it's on your phone so there's always a slight risk that your seed phrase can be exposed somehow but if you do do common security practices make sure when you get your seed phrase you always write it down and keep it on a piece of paper completely offline you never put your seed phrase in an email on a photo or anything like that because that can be a risk to your funds all right so i have my tantrum wallet here and what i'm going to be doing is now transferring my xlm in to caspa so what we're going to want to do is click the select destination and then you're going to want to search caspa now this could get a little bit confusing but you basically have different caspas that you can click here so these are your accounts if you don't already know you can actually make multiple caspa accounts within uphold and keep a certain amount of money in different accounts if you want to create more accounts you click where it says cryptocurrencies on caspa here and then you see it where it says add to new cast account and you can make multiple accounts but what you want to want to click on your phone is make sure you click on the crypto networks section and then click caspa network then what we're going to want to click for the amount is we're just going to click on the value right here and click use max then you're going to see the uphold fee which anything that's under 500 dollars on uphold there's going to be a always 99 cent fee and then the network fee for caspa and xlm is going to be practically zero so the network fee for xlm transferring it to caspa it's going to be zero and then it's going to be transferring it directly into the wallet so i'm going to click preview withdraw and then i'm going to put my caspa address in here so that it can actually send the caspa to the wallet to get your caspa address on tangium you're simply just going to want to make sure you first have caspa added in to your list to do that where you can click manage tokens down below and you can search caspa and make sure that it is turned on that way you can have caspa on your tangent wallet then you're going to want to click caspa and click receive and then this is going to be your address and i'm going to be able to copy this address and then put it into uphold after you put your address you're going to hit confirm and then it's going to give you more details about what's going to happen and it's saying that the settlement time is going to be two seconds i'm going to receive 369 caspa from this trade and it's just telling you all the different fees here i'm going to click confirm withdraw and then i'm just going to put i am moving my funds to my non-custodial wallet and then you're just going to click next and then it says caution this may be a scam this is just protection you just click continue then it's going to ask for your six digit code from your authenticator app this should be set up in the very beginning when you first set up uphold it's going to ask you to do the two-factor authentication you should use the google authenticator and it's pretty simple how to set that up so i'm going to grab that code and put it in here so now you see it's saying transaction is processing until we complete this process your transaction will show as pending thanks for your patience you're going to just click okay got it and then we're just going to see how long it takes for the transaction to come onto my tangent wallet currently it's 9 42 a.m as i'm recording this and let's see how long it takes to get in here all right so i literally just refreshed it and it's still 9 42 you could see that the caspa is already instantly in my wallet uphold has practically no fee when you're withdrawing caspa and also caspa is super fast it's like a two second settlement time so i have my caspa in my wallet it's worth 
47 dollars pretty much after all the moving around of funds so i basically lost a total of three dollars in fees now i'm going to be showing you guys real quick how to sell your cash flow if you ever want to sell it so it's going to be just basically what we did but backwards so i'm going to be sending this cash flow back to uphold and i'm going to be showing you guys how to do that so you're going to want to click select source again and then we're going to type caspa and then make sure you click caspa network and then that's going to be the address to send to uphold on tangent i'm going to click send and then i'm going to click the qr code button next to the paste button and actually just take a picture of the qr code and then for the caspa amount i'm going to put maximum amount it's going to include the fee and then i'm going to click send and then it's going to ask me to scan my tandrum card which i have right here i'm going to scan it to my device and then it's going to send the caspa to uphold and let's see how long that takes it's currently 9 45 so let's see how long it takes to get to uphold so within a minute the caspa is already on the uphold account but you can see that the settlement time for this to be sold is 10 minutes. So it's already going to be on uphold pretty instantly. But you're going to see that the status right now is processing. So I'm going to be back once this is fully settled on the account and then show you guys how to sell it. All right. So now the money has cleared and the way you're going to want to sell it is pretty much the same way we've been doing everything using the anything to anything. You're going to want to click select source. Your accounts with money should pop up on uphold. If it doesn't, you can always just search Caspa like this, and it's going to show your accounts. And then you're going to be able to click that. And then you're going to click select destination. And here you can select to do the USD account, which is to put it into cash within uphold. And also, if you wanted to do to your card or to your bank, you can add your bank or card to uphold and then do that as well so that the cash goes to your bank or through your card but if you do the card method it's going to be a higher fee than withdrawing to your bank so i'm just going to click the usd account and then i'm going to hit use max and then after this you're going to see that there is another uphold fee again if anything's under 500 dollars when you're doing transactions on uphold the fee is going to be always 99 cents at least and then you're going to click preview trade and then it will sell into your cash account with an uphold and then from there you can keep it in cash or just withdraw it to your bank so that's going to be how you sell buy and actually withdraw caspa out of uphold and I hope this video helps you guys a lot and knowing how to self custody your Caspa through Uphold now and also how to buy Caspa if you are in the US, it's gonna be the best exchange to use. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And as always, don't be average, be different.